What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we are attacking the city of Tangier, and we are destroying Morocco forever. And we are securing both sides of the Strait of Gibraltar, so now we are the true power in the Mediterranean. And once this army has been dealt with, they will likely join the... Uh, the forces massing on the Spanish-French border, ready to advance towards Paris. Because uh, I do have a something of a master plan in that I intend... Well, I'll go into that later, when that becomes more relevant. So, right. My gunners are going to be barely out of action. I mean, they could deploy here. And then let's take my infantry line because we can advance around the edge of the town. Ooh, lots of a big disparity in numbers of troops here. So let's take my African infantry guards out. See so my main infantry block in the centre. African infantry guards on the left, on the right. Sorry. My African light mercenaries are going to be extended out on the right flank. The Amazons are going to be on the left. We haven't really had a look at them. They're just normally targets for me to run down and kill. But there we go. All female skirmish unit. My Bellaine are going to skirt the town. Missed one gun team. Let's deploy them back and unlimber them. Keep the bulk of my. Let's see, I still might just keep all of my cavalry out wide. Get ready to advance. Ultimately, the enemy strength is quite weak. Lots of their troops are depleted. My cavalry. I can hear an enemy charge, but that's okay. Keep my skirmish cavalry out wide. Fire it will off. Melee cavalry. Drive up. charge push my melee troops forward my amazons I mean, that's a real weird position so i halted my one of my units of infantry so they could both form up and engage the camels and it looks like they've done that in sterling fashion so now we need to run into position Take my... No, my infantry's good there. My Amazons form up like so. So fire ahead of my line. Let's let the... Musketry go down the way it wants to go down. Get some of my gunners engaging in the next line of camels. Oh yes, my general's bodyguard. Very well. Now my infantry line advance a number of paces. Keep on advancing. See, I shouldn't have let them play where the game wanted to put them. Should have degrouped them. Position them myself. The cavalry out wide on the flank. My skirmish is up to here to engage this block that may push through the town. We are engaging them with artillery fire. We will be sending in my melee infantry into that fight, I would wager. Horsemen pursue the camels. Some Barbary pirates coming in, but they may be subject to volley fire. Present fire. Good stuff. So we've managed to repulse the unit of no the one camel nomad unit. They're be engaged by artillery fire, but as my musketeers are also doing a number on them, 
this unit of camel nomads is running around quite freely, but they will soon be the target of my fire. Desert camel mercenaries drive them forward. Push my cavalry up. My mercenaries just charge down the Amazons. And my actual infantry line. Drive forward. I did it again. Go forward to the new threat. You charge forward into the Barbary Pirates. The enemy general's bodyguard looks like they're about to commit. My fellow Yid will commit on the flank. Cease fire my guns. Excellent shot, sir. So the enemy cab uh, enemy camels to the rear. The musketry here is going very well. So my fellow Eid charge the camel nomad, cease the gunfire. Get my Sapahi forward. Charge the general's bodyguard. Being aware of these stakes. Yep. Yeah. Enemy camels will fall to my fellow Eid. Commit my Sapahi into the fight. The mercenaries are a bit. No, they've been. Smacked probably by charging infantry, or by charging cavalry, I should say. Get my native lances. Some of them have managed to run into a little stake there and die. So long, fella. Over you go. My native lances don't give a damn. Onward they go. Enemy general has been killed. All that remains to pursue and destroy these remaining infantry, which have duly broken. Excellent. Good job, fellas. Victory is ours. That is Morocco captured, which is quite a good territory to take. Because I wonder, can we recruit? I mean, they hate us a little bit. And they'll soon get over that. Uh, okay, we can't recruit. Oh, we likely can't recruit Israeli, which I was kind of hoping. Let's see if we could do that. Let's get all the repairs. Make sure you guys are replenished. So now we've got a, a shipyard, which don't really need, and a shipping port that we don't really need. Keep the farms upgrading. Let's upgrade the workshop. And let's upgrade the cold roads. You can't really push forward to attack Mr. De Azara yet, but you will do soon. It may do some raiding, but that's okay. Or oh, I could push these Kizobashi up to the bridge. If they try to cross it, we will shred them with musket fire. So I doubt you'll be able to move. You're, minus, you're still minus one and they really don't like you. You're repairing. You're repairing. You're all in good shape. We've also got a force here in Florida, which will probably be an auto result. Um, probably going to knock down the military governor's barracks. Go for trade focus. We've got um, Caracas as our recruitment center. So let's repair that. Let's get the infrastructure going. Probably want to get rid of the coaching in because we want to want to replace it with a religious building. Plus one commandment besieging is pretty good. It's Florida's ours. So my my Dutch plan is as follows: significant concentration of enemy troops here, reasonable concentration of Mysorean troops here, but not enough. What I'd like to do is take the force here at Bastia. 
land them at this bridge, and then with some of these other forces, take and hold these bridges and recruit additional troops to support them. And that way, these guys can only escape northern Italy by breaking by pushing north into Munich. And that way, I'd hope that their financial situation would be sufficiently dire, they will begin to be quite heavily attrited. So if we can take Paris, and then hit Amsterdam, that might cause a significant uh, hit to their finances, and then these units will start to be depleted, at least in theory. At least by holding Morocco, we now control the strait, and we are blockading... Well, the only port we are currently not blockading is Genoa, because they are not currently our enemy. But apart from that, probably going to hit end turn and see what happens. So let's hit end turn. Get more of my agents are pushing up to the front line. My Indian, another Indian army is nearly ready to be pushed forward. I'm going to want to start sending navies forward because we're reaching a point where we're going to want to start blockading more of the European coast. Just got to bear in mind that Prussia, Russia and the Dutch are all one big alliance. So ideally, I don't want to make peace with the Dutch at all. I want to increase the pressure and do the strategy of holding the bridges and keep bringing them into river battles where I can try and do disproportionately large amounts of damage to them. At least that would be the anticipation. The Dutch are on the move. Uh, the Prussians are on the move, I, I should say. Yep. They could decide to kick off a great war between our countries, and it could be a bit of a problem. That's why expansion in the Caribbean is so important. That's why, well, expansion across the board is important. So here comes Louisiana. Georgia looks like they're pulling the troops back to their home territory, which is good for us. Greece is carrying on. Quebec's carrying on. <clears throat> oh, the rebels have been repulsed from Kiev. Good, good, good. So we're going to want to chase down those Spanish rebels. They shouldn't be getting any stronger now because we should be equal. Oh, Imam in Naples. Okay, let's try and start to see if we can foster some unrest on their front lines. New port emerges. New Andalusia. Have a trading port because we've already got a naval hospital up here in Holguin. Let's take second rate crew and admiral. Do we just smash their fleet? I think we do better than that. I think we just uh, blockade their fleet. <laughs> blockade their port, rather. We get some more visibility on their troops. It's got a significant concentration here. There's Theodore, the man himself. New port emerges, a Naba. So let's get that built and let's get another brig. Actually, no, we've already got one. Got one here in Cartagena. Well, not necessarily a brig, but something we can send across to garrison the port. Do some more economy upgrades. Tech advance. Steampunk land drainage. They've gone straight on to mass production. That's good. Port blockaded at Grand Bahamas. Don't really mind. Lots of good construction. Drassa is a bit of a punt. I'm probably going to leave it at that now. We are going to slowly start to tick over uh, Rome down towards the Islamic culture. Let's send you guys to St. Augustine to bolster the front. So at St. Augustine we're going to be putting a civil building. Try build a madrasa. Cotton and tobacco. So in terms of those goods, tobacco's currently... Cotton's worth more. Although we're producing a lot of stuff. So let's go for cotton, even though we're importing. We're producing a huge amount of it in Europe. 140 bales. Only 60 in India. In America, we're not producing any. So let's get our production up there. 
we will want to drive west quickly to free up this port for exports from Florida. Okay, we're still on with recruiting these troops. I want to go to Baghdad and give them... So they want another Kurdish Hillman plus... Probably to a Serene and Kizilbashi, then that's a full army, ready to rock and roll. Workers on strike in Morocco, but now they've chilled out. Upgrade both their ports to trade ports. You're good, your replenishment's good. Can you hit the rebels? You can. Hopefully that should be then dealt with. Ugh. How frustrating. At least you guys can move a hell of a long distance. Let's go upgrade the Madrasa in Seville. You men keep replenishing. Upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Upgrade this building. Upgrade the Craft Workshop. Trade route raided. Now let's get you guys to safety. Over in India, probably going to want to shift another full navy over to Europe. You're going to there, you're going to there. So you're a trade fleet ready to move out. You are recruiting. This is another full navy. Um, to be honest, actually, I think four trade fleets ready to go out will be enough. Something like that. Organize the armies. So that's this army completed, so let's shift them over. I am tempted to shift them over to America. I mean, I could have sent them to Mangalore, but yeah, whatever. So you're recruiting one great gun, one twenty-four pounder. Let's go for one Hindu warrior, one Islamic swordsman, one dervish unit, four Hindu musketeers. Cool. I think generally in India, most things are. Fully upgraded, so the territory is going to be, well, the continent rather, not just the territory, is going to be booming as fast as it possibly can. In which case, we're going to start to want more centres of army production rather than one army in the south. You're still sneaking, you're still sneaking. So we can try and deal. I mean, it's going to be annoying if you raid Cartagena because we're about to build a commercial basin. So now... War flight, flight, fifth rate, fifth rate, fifth rate, fourth rate. Are, are you, you can become a trade fleet. And just to maintain my sanity, I'm going to send them to India. The ships go across to Sandy Bay. My Jebek is going to move up to Porto. Although, I suspect I will want ports that are currently held just by levy. So I can easily move in battleships or battle fleets for repairs. It's a great global trading company. It's unfortunate you're... I suppose you're not actually worth anything yet. But overall, I think we're doing okay. I think my plan to try and trap these armies in northern Italy is probably the way to go. We will want extra support. Even if they are just a 
Okay, I can't get 24 pounders. I can get 18 pounders, though. Got to be very careful because some of these things don't show up for a while. Cairo. Five turns to get from Cairo. That's not bad. Metal roads, man. But if I can keep you recruiting two Cairo infantry guards, two African infantry guards. Good. Oof, right. Then I've got an army here who is going to punish what they can. Uh, they only need 115 gold. Push on to Bogota, Panama. Push up the peninsula. We're going to want to try and mass and begin to defeat Louisiana. Then drive north up into the Cherokee nations and the 13 colonies. Which will be significant because we are trading with the 13 colonies. They will draw us into war with Great Britain. So, yeah. Keep building our strength. I think that's the end game there. The Dutch look like they are still recruiting. But let's keep on, well, keep on building our strength because eventually we're going to be fighting Russia and Prussia at once across Europe. And we're going to need to start doing sneaky invasions in the north and to the uh, into the far east, as far as we can see, uh, to try and throw Russia off. Because right now, they will be massing their troops against us, and it will be quite scary. However, it appears that the United Provinces want to take over the Dutch mantle of being the most frustrating faction to play against. Oh, no, it didn't move across. Okay, I think they'll be okay. But this is why I want to take those bridges. It's our best shot at attempting to isolate that northern Italian pocket. Unless they elect to push us. Which they may do. I don't wish to try and bash through just yet. I want to see if I can draw some of their forces away westward. Oof. Lots of Russian forces. Let's see if they end up pushing into the Caucasus. Because then we might have to start recruiting more armies. Oh, don't... Okay, right. Uh, you demand peace, New Spain, and you will not get it. Okay. Yeah, Georgia are definitely pulling back. But if Russia takes Taki, say, or pushes towards Georgia, that could kick this massive war off a lot sooner than we'd like. Destroy them. How about you? Good. Will the rebels take the city? Oh my god, they did. <laughs> so Russia's currently experiencing some rebellion problems. Which is good news. So my Islamic preacher here. Get up to Paris. You likely will not do a huge amount. But you can try. So get back into Cartagena. This army can march up to this border position. A new town emerges in Hispaniola. Craft workshop it is. And let's upgrade the farm. Support blockaded. Fine. There's a currently a port to the west here that if they raid it, that could be a bit frustrating. Upgrade the madrasa. Let's drive on towards Bogota. Let me raid in Bologna. I don't mind them raiding. Upgrades you to commercial basin. You guys are replenishing. Let's see if we can lure them into our great states. Let's upgrade the army staff college, although we are limited in what we can recruit. Let's move the levy up to Porto. 
my guns can move up to here. Upgrade Madrid's infrastructure. Fort located. Don't mind. Fleet arrives. Yeah, bringing another agent. So let's try and get this agent up to Amsterdam. So I don't think they have a religious building. They have a modern university and they have a cloth mill. And they are currently equal clamour for reform. You know, they hate each other just as much as... <coughs> <clears throat> is they hate us. So, let's drop a priest on the edge, start to convert the population, stir up a bit of civil unrest, and force them to keep more troops home as a garrison. Keep raiding, although I don't think it's worth anything. Actually, sit in the naval hospital there. So... Bring the sloop out, get this force embarked, get them over to the Americas to speed up our expansion. So you got one more set of guns, plus this stuff on the way. You're currently two slots short, you're getting one unit of guns, and you can get a unit of Kizilbashi, most likely. That will be another unit, another army recruited, so let's get on with another! Six pounders. Let's go for twelves in this case. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, unit of Spahi, native lancers. Kizilbashi plus two units of dervishes. Just keep the recruitment going. Here in Egypt. Keep this recruitment going. I'm not so worried about successful missions. Uh, some real good upgrades here. I mean, invading Britain would be an interesting idea, as would invading Iceland, but I wonder if you've got any friends. Protectorate of Georgia, that's quite interesting. If you want to take Georgia, that's the way to do it. Then it comes down to who does Georgia pick? Us or them? Okay, so if you guys Okay, you guys push up. See if we can draw these guys into into battle. Theodore's not joined them, he's back here. Oh, he's guarding the city itself. But it's likely you guys will probably need to push forward. In which case, let's start recruiting a force to support them. Something like that. Well, if this unit drive pushes westward, we want, more we want to be able to dump more troops into St. Augustine to protect it against the savages from the north. 16,000... Again, there's no point going for quick line because you won't benefit from it. I think maybe the time might be to uh, open up this second staging post for enemy or for friendly recruitment. Something like that. Because we're starting to get a, have a surplus of cash that we don't yet don't really need. Srinagar, yeah, you're you're pretty happy. So let's take our agent. 
push you up to Taki. You'll convert on the way. Up at Nerun, a bit of religious unrest still exists. Calcutta, again, they're fairly happy. There is no religious unrest, so again, let's do the same thing. Take this agent, push them up to big order. Go for, go for Crimea. I have to wonder, have you gone... Okay, so we are increasing religious unrest. But there's no one, there's no particular reason for these armies to be marching eastward unless they just want to kill us. It's another army to bring to bear. Yeah, I, mean, I think we just have to... Although I do like recruiting artillery and cavalry first. Something like that. And then you need a pillman. Because I haven't got to massively recruit off the bot off the uh, off the bat yet. And you want to come into Istanbul, then pop out. Then go up to Sofia. More oh you've got a religious building somewhere protecting you. Yeah, you do a seminary. Maybe go down to Athens, spar with the Protestant preacher there. Although, again, if they leave the, if they leave uh, Istanbul, actually that's probably good to keep you there. Actually, is if they leave Istanbul, that garrison moves, they're going to lose eleven positive public order and be down to plus one. So if we can stir up more religious unrest, maybe. We can prov we can kind of lock down a, 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 a lock down one of their armies that way. Try and convert you. You don't have a religious building, but we can try and stir up religious unrest. Just keep on trying, I suppose. All right, okay. It's got a heavy first rate mine. Good. Let's hit enter. So my agents are still on the move. Sadly, the madrasa in Rome is broken. It's not the end of the world. Could be useful to attack Britain, but I think it's best to achieve that with the with attacking the uh, thirteen colonies, because at least we're somewhat offsetting the economic pain it'll cause. I'm hoping when I push into France and I secure some of these bridgeheads we could start to draw some of these troops west. That might not be possible. That, it just might not happen. They may want to sit into sit in their little enclave until... Ah, oh, they've got a port there. That's the important one, really. I suppose they just really wanted to bottle up their fleet. Okay, I need to blockade their home port. That's a significant consideration for any blockade. <laughs> Sending more troops to the northern Italian frontier, it would appear. Yeah, you better pull back. Okay. If they want to try and... Well, the challenge is... That, well, ideally, they would try and attack me. So I can bring all my forces to bear and my job would be to just simply survive for the, for the hour. But I don't think... Well, they, they appear to not want to attack me like that. I think they keep intending on trying to move ship... Move troops by... Uh, by sea, but that's not working. The Russians are pushing down into the Caucasus. Oh, so the Russians have just retaken a rebel settlement, which is a bit unfortunate. The Louisianans are moving back. Cherokee are kind of preparing for what might be about to happen.
Greece is gone. According to the potent naval fleet, Quebec's being Quebec, and all these ships will just disappear. And they won't be very good ships because they're recruiting them from a trade port. So, Imam, Armenia. Very well. So I'm tempted to push you straight out of Moscow, but you will definitely have a religious building here somewhere. Although they all appear to be happiness buildings and no two universities. Oh no, that, that was in Kiev. No wonder they wanted control of that. Okay, let's push you up to Moscow then. So you can't afford a rebellion. Port blockaded, Puerto Cabello. Frustrating, but yeah, not the end of the world. Let's move this sloop over to Santa Ana de Coro. Construction report, palatial estates, new farms. It's chiefly the roads I want to get, because they're the easiest to overlook. Yeah, get these trade ships. Get these trade ports expanded. Fleet arrives. Another battle fleet, so your job is to attack Rotterdam, which is currently trading. Take that. Yeah, you're current. Oh, you're very. You're very level pegging with your. in terms of your public order. Keep on running. I mean, I know they won't be happy yet, but let's just see. Minus two, not far off. You could potentially be a new garrison, but I'm not really worried. So you're coming back here to uh, manage my or to join my little flock of trade ships. Good recruitment in Egypt. Eight slots, so we can recruit two more units. So let's do that. So in two turns, that'll be another army, which we can follow up with immediately recruiting more. Good. But the main things are happening over in the Americas. Got a colonial force here. Put them under siege for now because I want to make sure my recruitment here is progressing. Because be a lot of Kizobashi, and that's not ideal, but there we go. So you are going to hit this force here. And you're probably going to keep bashing them back all the way to their home territory. You keep upgrading the Thracker's Court. And upgrading the infrastructure. Um, okay, so let's let's take Bogota. Bogota is a very valuable region. Good amount of resources. Uh, might take a bit of time to bring it under our control, because the enemy are a bunch of Catholics. Apologies, I just had to have a little cough there. So let's get our troops up in their faces and do some shooting and do some stabbing. Engage. Okay. Infantry plus Sikh Musketeers. I mean, you guys are just going to tear through them. I should have brought you guys in as well. Roll the Indian Infantry Guards on the right. Okay, right. So let's combine my Skirmish Cavalry on the left. Camel Nomads on the right. Melee line 
follow behind the musket line. And my cavalry engage as they please. skirmish cavalry and attack colonial like cav. They fancy their chances but we have square formation. You guys fancy your chances we too have square formation. Very well. Charging in square. Oh, yeah, they, can, they can get involved. Okay let's send Two of these melee units out left. Two of these melee units in the centre-ish. My kids are actually going to do what they like. Because ultimately these guys are bashed into two of my square formations. So they are not long for this world. Get out of square. Make ready. Infantry form up. Skirmishers move back, but fire at will. What? What do you do? Oh, is there no way down from this plateau? Very well. You guys need to open up a bit of a gap. Storm the mounted tribal auxiliary. So you men are currently holding up some of their infantry with bow fire. Some of this infantry is in defilade. Target the 21st, advance the pikemen up. So you men smash the colonial militia. Push the pikes up on the flank. Push my camels and my pikes through the gap on the right flank. There goes Islamic Swordsman versus Colonial Line. Should go to the Colonial Line, the rest of my line. You men back them up. You musketeers. They could, they might just charge through, to be honest. Pikes push in from the flank. You men charge the colonial line. Camels run across. Pikemen run across. Infantry turn their flank. So you're going to charge into this infantry unit too. Yep, that's caused them a very significant emotional event. You men charge into the rear of the 16th. Then on this flank. Push forward into the melee. advance. So you go for the general's bodyguard camels. The Indian infantry guards secure the high ground. Where's the general's bodyguard? Pikemen charge the missiles. It's like the swordsmen charge the colonial militia. Camels drive forward in the general's bodyguard. Looks like we've got a bit of a human wave style attack going on so commit my melee infantry to attack these remaining units my camels are going to do a number on the enemy general's bodyguard 
They do not like camels. No sir. Gunners. Ceasefire. See, they've charged into my pikemen as if that will save them. It will not. But the stakes may cause some of my camels to die. But my pikemen will most surely be the end of their uh, general's bodyguard. Hopefully their general too. Kill him! Although, has that... Is the enemy... Yeah, that's the entire enemy. Army collapsed. Nice. So long, buster. So that is... Bogota secured. Hey, and they're sending in troops to try and counteract me. I leave Bogota. Minus four. What plays entry from tax? Minus three. Not enough. Your Majesty! Got one army up there, but it's another colonial army, so that's not a huge problem. Great. Okay, then the next action. Upgrade the large cotton plantation, and you guys go after these Louisianans. Start to push towards their capital. See, so we take Louisiana, that's another action, that's another faction taken out of the game. Then we've got a secure western flank. We can push up the coast towards the Cherokee. Then we can build many, many, many more madrasas. Yeah, this force is depleted anyway. So let's take all of my line, deploy them on the right. All my melee infantry, deploy them on the left. All my camels, cavalry on the left as well. Because this is going to be a bit of a hoot and a holler. My gunners have engaged. I've got no sound because uh, audio brain for some reason screws up. But at least my Great guns, getting some practice. It's kind of why I wanted my infantry to run sort of across the front rather than through the front. Oh hey! Regiment of Provincial Horse. You can attack who you like. You know what? Let's, Let's counter charge. Because this infantry could just take their place and fill in the flank. Native Lancers go for the Coeur de Bois. Got plenty of those around, so they're going to be hiding. Islamic Swordsmen go for the Royal Escossais. Skirmishes are getting chewed up. Just terribly. There goes the enemy cavalry. Swordsmen go for the Colonial Light Cavalry. New Warriors drive forward. Camel Mercenaries come back. Engage the Colonial Light. Yeah, you guys can run straight through the gap in the defences. There we go. Now we're starting to see. Oh, I, I brought too many infantry across. Here's the enemy native warrior auxiliary. My own native lancers. I'm gonna smash into your flank right when my melee infantry line hits yours. And I'm afraid you will not like it. You will not like it one bit. Get my Sapahi out here. Because the likelihood is that we. Interesting, is that a swordsman? Why is that a swordsman? A warrior.
You men form square. You men charge the Curie de Bois. Nope, I want my camels to engage the colonial light cavalry. I want my colonial light cavalry to let my heavy cavalry escape. Maybe general bodyguard and another native warrior unit. They're probably hacking down my lancers. But I don't give a damn. Charge onwards, men. Execute the last remaining cavalrymen. Cease fire, lest we make our Hindu musketeers rout. All my guns aim at that Coeur de Bois. T. Colonial. Cavalry is routing. Let's speed up time because there's only one cavalry unit left. Halt fire. My spy, you're going to have to waste time attacking them, so. They did the right thing, as much as, it's, as, much as it pains me to admit it. Knock out this native warrior auxiliary unit. Go after this native warrior auxiliary unit. There's a lot of units on the field, so I'll accept taking some out, but not all. Now these guys are all gonna rout. Well, that wasn't bad. Pushed on to the the next army in the frontier. Killed a good number of troops. Killed a good number of actual units. Yeah, I'll take that as an outcome. There we go. Yeah, two to one exchange ratio ish. Not the not the best exchange ratio, but not bad. I'll take it. We have another army up front. So let's try and gain some ground. Push forward. Good. Cool. Right. You may also push forward in time, but not yet. So, I suppose Ankara can recruit Israeli as well. Keep stacking up armies now. Uh, maybe not militia. Because we're going to need more armies here. More, more armies everywhere we're going to need. So let's head into him. Troops are moving up to the front. Our agents are moving up to try and cause more mischief. Good, good, good. At some point we have to answer the awkward question about Britain. What are we going to do? But overall, I think uh, our overall strategy is acceptable. But I'm hoping, well, if I take Paris, that will dent their income massively per turn. If I take Amsterdam, that will make it even worse. So then suddenly all these troops in north, uh, northern Italy will actually just start to uh, be depleted to hell and back. And they'll lose the ability to support those troops. And my hope is I can... I need to move up the army in Sardinia. Move up the army in Tunisia. Or Morocco, rather. And then just start to push into France. See if by attacking French territory I can cause them to abandon their front. No peace. Georgia's a bit of a concern, because they've got a large number of troops. Could cause some problems. But they've only got one city, so if you jump on it, you can take them out fairly easily. 
Hey, an actual Quebec army unit. That's a bit of a turn up for the books. Come on, show me what you got. Top gallants. Okay. See you guys. So if we use Indian armies to keep pushing in the Americas, yes, sir. Sir. you guys push forward, drive up, so you should be getting more great gun plus Great gun plus one more unit of artillery. Something like that. Then get a unit of Hindu, Hindu warriors. Okay, your artillery. Two Hindu. Two Indian musketeers. Oh no, we've already got two Indian infantry mercenaries. Three Kizobashi, three Hindu Musketeers, get one unit of Camel Gunners, maybe? I think the answer might be Hindu Warriors. Fleet arrives with more troops. So what you can do... Actually, no, I can move you around to the bay. So you guys are now the Guard Army. Florida, ready to drive up towards Savannah. With this fleet coming in. They will land here. Ag! Public servant. No, wait a minute. Traits gained. I didn't lose my general on that battle, did I? Didn't think I did. Maybe I did. Hmm. Very suspicious. You men keep recruiting. So my spies are still doing okay. You see two public order. So you men push up. You men may have better luck trying to convert Amsterdam itself. Why are you unhappy? Let's uh, exempt them from tax. Just stop them from rebelling. Oh, it's because a public servant died. He was. Oh, my justice minister. This one's poopy. Yeah, he, this guy's okay, as long as he's not. There you go. Uh, better check my policies. No, he's massively in trouble. My sword's difficult, but my sword's always difficult, because that's where my capital is. And that's where my uh, really good university is. the mines trade port get rid of the fishing fleet top tier mines new spain that's what it's about and recruiting to two sloops to occupy the ports can you now leave bogota you can indeed bit of unhappiness four actually Santiago de Cali, though, will be developed, which will turn into a madrasa. Drive up towards Panama, though. Keep them away from my precious mines. You're starting to convert them. Excellent. Cause them problems. That's all we want to do. Let's hop over to the Americas because what we're going to want to do uh, 
Ah, I only I only took one unit when I moved them. Interesting. Uh, you might get within range of that army to the south, but push north just to make sure you don't get caught out. This sloop can go into Grand Bahamas to keep them safe. Okay, good. Curious about where that Russian army went to. Very curious. Upgrade use for Global Trading Company. Upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, I think now we're gonna re we're reaching the point where we're starting to boom, which is pretty cool. I might move you guys out of Spain. Move you guys into Madrid. Good, you can. Hold the town. So you can bring a selection of reinforcements. Because now we're reaching the point where we can begin to squeeze uh, the United Provinces. There we go. So you guys go upgrade to a maybe another madrasa to try and get another agent so that we can send them even further forward and send even more agents ahead to spread the word of Allah to cause them challenges. You guys are going to struggle because you've got two colleges of divinity, three colleges of divinity, four colleges of divinity. See, that's part of the reason why Paris is growing by 80 a turn. And Madrid is growing by 159. Actually, let's have a look at my most... Ah, God, that's because my most prosperous region. Growing 152 a turn. Followed by Hindustan. Followed by Rajputana. Followed by Bishapur. Bishapur. Followed by Mysore. Although this hasn't changed at all on the left. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's hit enter. My disciples continue to advance to the front line. At some point, Britain's going to declare on us. Yeah, and the United Provinces have also become aware of the fact that we are doing bad things. Oh, they're attacking our sloop. No! Yeah, at least we survived. Flee into a port, please. Okay. Yeah, the Cherokee are suddenly aware that they got a massive invading army on their doorstep. Just packed to the gunnels with elephants and muskets and all sorts of goodness. Okay, so we can definitely hop over to the Americas because we've got a bunch of stuff we can upgrade. I mean, lots of this stuff, global trading companies out here is, strictly speaking, not necessary. At least not yet, but we do have a ludicrous amount of cash. Let's check our roads out here. Generally, I think I'm okay. So you're going to attack this guy, you're going to attack this guy, and then we're going to be knocking on the doorstep of Louisiana. The town emerges, Marrakesh. Craft workshop, farm, upgrade mine. So why can't... It's, it's, I suppose it's because they are another major power, um, but we want them minus seven yes, sir. suppose strictly speaking then you guys you can become a tavern to increase happiness to try and allow us to free up that army for other activities so 
So you can push through. I mean, we're only sending them out to Madrid so I can try and... Two agents out to Madrid so we can try and convert them quicker. You cross in Spain, see if that causes their AI to behave differently. Right, okay. Tripoli. Granada, which you've done. Spaniola, which you've done a lot of. Portugal, Tunis. Get rid of all those hammers. Um, but let's take this force here and attack the remnants of the army that we just attacked. They've done some um, consolidating, but we're going we're to attack them to the north. Then we're also going to attack them again from the south. And you guys have to ante up and fill in the gaps. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for some Louisiana slaughter. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.